Great day everyone! Welcome back to Ram's Tutorial. If you are new here in my channel, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so that you are updated in my latest videos. Today class, we are going to discuss about differentiating between common and proper noun. A common noun class is a name of a person animal, a place, an object, or an event. But remember, a common noun, it does not have a particular name. It does not have a particular name. And remember, it always begins with a small letter, lowercase. It begins with lowercase. So that's our, what you call the, what you call the mark, that a common noun, is not what we called uh, doesn't have a particular name like for examples we have persons animals places objects or events in persons class you can cite say the guard an uncle an aunt like that a picture so those are persons but we don't have any specific name for them because we are discussing about a common noun okay there's no have a particular name for each for animals we can say it also it's a carabao goat but here in our example we have goat and parrot places we have school church etc objects we have folder paper all of things that belongs to objects events we have fiesta birthday anniversary or whatsoever that belong to events and that is a common noun whereas if we are going to differentiate common noun and proper noun because remember class proper noun its names with a particular person place event objects day and month it begins with a capital letter. So that's their difference. For common noun, small letter. For proper noun, it begins with uppercase of the letter or capital letter. And remember, class, that proper nouns contains two or more words. Each word begins with the capital letter. Say so for example, say so for example, say so for example, a person's name, you're going to start with uppercase letter R, names of a place, of course, okay, names of an event or whatsoever, you should capitalize it. And that is a proper noun, how you're going to write a proper noun. Robert, Lorna, Jessica, these are the names of the persons. You can cite also any names as well as they belong to persons and you are going to write it in an uppercase even though you write the names of the persons but you write it in a small letter your answer is incorrect because it is a common noun proper noun should be right written rather in capital letter or uppercase of the letter places names of place Rizal Park Laguna, Amazing Kingdom, Enchanted Kingdom. It should be written in a capital letter. Objects, Pantal Pen, Barbie Doll, Soap Guard. So remember class, their initial are written in capital letter. Because it shows about a proper noun. Events like Christmas, Valentine's Day, and New Year. For days, we have Monday, Wednesday, Sunday, Thursday, Friday, all of that. We're going to write it with a what you call capital letter. For months, April, May, August, September, October, November, December, or whatsoever, you're going to write it for the first letter, it should be capitalized. It. And that's a proper noun. There is a specific name for a person, for a place, rather objects events or days or months so 
there is a, part, a specific name for each. Again, common noun and proper noun. Their difference is that a common noun, again, is just, it does not have a particular name. Whereas proper noun, it contains two or more words, or each word begins with a capital letter, or it names with a particular person, place, event, objects, day, or a month. That is how we are going to differentiate class, the common noun and proper noun. Okay? Next, we have first year. In Tagalog, remember, so we, we know also there, in Tagalog, that common noun is what we call pambalana, and proper noun is pantang, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so I have an exciting what you called uh, this is part of our evaluations regarding grammar about how we are going to differentiate common and proper nouns. So, for example, I have here I prepared 20. Okay, we have 20 what we called uh, drills regarding how we are going to identify between common and proper noun. So again, class, common noun should be written in small letter, whereas a proper noun, capital letter. Here we go. Number one. Yesterday, the family went to Baclara Church. Okay, we're going to classify the underlying nouns, which, has, which is Baclaran Church. That means to say Baclaran Church, so we, what you call, concentrate that Baclaran Church is a name for a church. And that is why automatic class for students, you are going to pick the right answer, which is proper noun okay so we're going to write here p n that's a proper noun okay for number two jude is the brother of mike the word brother class it indicates that letter b or b it begins with a small letter brother it does not show the specific name of that particular brother so the underlying word is automatically class common noun we're going to write c and n that's for common noun third my birthday is in april so we emphasize april that's what we call month of his birthday so april written with what to call a big letter so that's specific names of a month we're going to write it p n proper noun four big snakes are found in manila zone so the underlying word is manila zone remember manila zone is a place so it's we're going to write it in a capital letter m followed by lowercase zo capital letter and lowercase it indicates or it shows about proper noun so we're going to write here pn that's a proper noun next five his book is new the underlying word is book that means to say book is not a proper noun that is a common noun so we're going to write c and n or q n that's the sound next is your sister is my classmate the word classmate class it does not have a particular name whose classmate is that so we're going to choose common noun common noun does not have a particular name so we're going to write c n four seven there is fun in school 
The next word is school. Remember class, school written with S-C-H-O-O-L, that is what we call common noun. We do not know what is the name of that particular school. So we're going to write C-N, that's common noun. Eight, on Monday, she will have a test. Remember class, we write Monday. That means to say, Monday means it's name of day. So we are going to write this proper noun. Next, next we have number nine. Joseph won 10 pencils and the contest. So the word pencils. Pencils. We have okay, prop common noun. Our graduation day is in March. The word graduation day. So this is what you call an event. So we're going to write it uppercase go and uppercase the. It shows about graduation the word is proper noun class. For eleven, Matt and Joshua have dinner together. Joshua is name of a person. So this is what we call proper noun. That's Pantangi in Tagalog. Christy asked Mary about her new book. They underline where this book. So that means to see there's no name for a book. It's automatically common noun 13 many of our classmates also live in barangay and trust classmates class there's no name for that particular classmates it's obviously common noun so i write class c and for short form for the word common noun or pambalana all our pupils go to school on time we do not know also the name of that school so it's automatic common noun for 15 mrs espinoza drives her own car so she drives her own car but we're going to underline mrs espinoza this names mrs espinoza class it shows about okay proper a noun has a specific name for that particular driver so we're going to write pn for proper noun so please follow guys watch my videos 16. Randell watches Binibining Pilipinas. This is what we call a Binibining Pilipinas class. It's an event, a kind of what you call the beauty pageant. Okay? It's either expensive or luxurious event. So this is what we call the proper noun. E-N. 17. Can we have coffee at Dunkin' Donuts? So we are going to coffee some into Dunkin' Donuts. So the name Dunkin' Donuts here class, this one. Dunkin' Donuts, that is okay, what we called proper noun. Ethan, the writer of this book is Erlenda. So the word writer, okay, writer is a common noun that's written with a small letter. So we do not know what writer is that. 19, second to the last class, remember. If this is your assignment, so congrats because your assignment is correct. Please buy a pack of noodles from 831 store. So remember class, when we analyze 831 store, rather, it's what we call name of an establishment, name of a convenience store. So this is what we call a proper noun so we're going to write here p n for proper noun the last class please watch it i want to raffle so that means one nanalo po siya ng raffle that means to say the word raffle it's obvious obviously class it's written with lowercase this is common noun we do not know what raffle is that or what kind of raffle is that that we are going to draw so guys viewers hope these videos or this topic about differentiating between
common and proper nouns help you a lot especially in making your assignments and of course this is what we call the basic sentence grammar of course using common and proper noun that's in tagalog if you are asking what is common and proper noun a common noun is what we call the pambalana a proper noun is a pantangi in tagalog hope guys you understand our topic and thank you for watching my videos and please don't forget to subscribe again to ram's tutorial vlog God bless everyone. Bye-bye. See you in my next videos.